The worldwide demand for resources is constantly increasing. At the same time, our resource consumption is not developing in a sustainable manner. It affects people and the environment in various negative ways all around the world. Harmful working conditions for miners or greenhouse gas emissions are just two of many examples. In November 2017, experts in the field of resources as well as climate change met at the premises of GIZ in Bonn for a side event to the COP23 climate change conference. At the event, which was hosted by Germany's Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development and Federal Ministry for Environment, Nature, Conservation, Building and Nuclear Safety, two main topics were discussed. Which raw materials do we need for crucial future technologies and where are these raw materials coming from? Secondly, what are the social and environmental challenges of an increased raw material demand at the mine site in the partner countries of German Development Corporation. But what exactly could be the answer to these problems in a way towards a more sustainable future? Should we extract the resources or leave them in the ground? Experts have diverging answers to this question. Take it and leave it. The solution depends on what kind of resources we're talking about. Fossil fuels like oil, gas, and coal, or metals and minerals, such as copper, cobalt, lithium, and gold. The, the fundamental starting point is um, uh, that we have a very small remaining carbon budget. Um, we, or the international community has agreed in 2015, two years ago, uh, in Paris to limit global warming to no more than 1.5 to 2 degrees. And that essentially means um, that we have a pretty small carbon budget left um, and uh, depending on the assumptions and the probability of reaching a certain um, uh, temperature increase or not exceeding it, um, this means we have something left from a few years to maybe 25 or 30 years, uh, meaning we have to leave uh, most of that actually in the ground. Uh, also again, depending on uh, the assumptions, uh, you get to numbers, figures um, to 80% at least for, for the known coal reserves. Um, and you can get uh, similar numbers for, for gas uh, and oil. So for a serious effort to decarbonize our future and thus mitigate climate change, we need to leave the fossil resources in the ground. But this transition will be a global long-term effort because it comes with huge implications for economies in LDCs and emerging countries, it has to be managed and steered well. A drop in the demand of fossil resources and thus a drop in prices means a cut of major income sources for many resource-endowed countries. It is crucial to support these countries in inducing a mid- and long-term transition strategy with an emphasis on new income opportunities. For metals and minerals, the answer is different. I think the question, leave it in the ground, is for what I'm going to talk about really, I mean, I'd say it's the opposite. Our low carbon future will actually be more mineral intensive than the status quo, where, or than the status quo. And many of these minerals will come from developing countries. Very anecdotal. Without metals, there would be no low carbon future uh, possible, basically. So for now, these resources are essential for green technologies and thus for tech-based decarbonization efforts. A 3 megawatt wind turbine needs 335 tons of steel, 4.7 tons of copper, 3 tons of aluminum, 2 tons of rare earth elements. A production of hybrid or electric cars, especially concerning their batteries, exemplifies a similar situation. The main raw materials needed here are lithium and cobalt. These trends result in an increase in the demand for such metals and minerals. We need to extract them. So taking the essential metals and minerals and leaving the fossil resources in the ground sooner rather than later is one side of the coin. Managing both processes in a sustainable as possible way is the other. Not an easy task, but one that is necessary and worth it. Let's combine our efforts, work together, and make this happen. For more information, please visit our website.